Matapos ang isang up and down season para sa maraming mga NBA teams at matapos ang isang agresibong tank wars after ng trade deadline, ngayon nandito na tayo sa draft period. Sa video na to, isi-share ko sa inyo ang aking NBA mock draft at pag-uusapan natin kung bakit sila sila at ganun ang listahan ko. So, ito yung draft order for this year. Ngayon, this is my personal mock draft. My opinion and mostly mga picks ko ay based from my knowledge, my research, and my scouting. So, accurate or hindi sa magiging actual na draft, ganun talaga eh. Hindi tayo sinastradamus. So, let's start with the first pick, Detroit Pistons. For the first overall pick, we have the Detroit Pistons na natapos with the second worst record sa NBA last season. Meron silang solid na mga young players like Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, and Killian Hayes. Pero I think they need that undisputed number one guy. And with that, I have them selecting Cade Cunningham from Oklahoma State. Actually, no-brainer to. Kahit sinong team na mapunta dito sa first pick, Cade will go number one. You can't pass up on his talent, 6'8 na guard na kayang ibigay sa'yo lahat. Diba? Yun yung definition ng modern NBA na malaking gwardiya can guard multiple positions and can do everything. Si Cade, pinakita niya talaga sa college think niya na yung poise niya and demeanor niya sa laro is parang pang veteran. Kumbaga, unfazed. And in terms of half-court offense, the best siya kapag nasa pick and roll play siya kung saan marami siyang pwedeng gawin. One, is magaling siyang pick and roll playmaker. Nagpa-probe siya madalas and he let the plays develop. Hindi niya minamadali, hindi siya undercook, hindi rin siya overcook. Kasi hindi siya yung playmaker na ibibigay kagad dun sa easy and open pass eh. Hinihintay niya yung right time and the right pass sa mga ganong situation. And sa NBA, malaking bagay yung ganong klase ng skill as kapag nakakakuha na siya ng multiple defenders, knowing what the right pass is, is really important. Sa scoring naman, most of his points comes from pick and roll situations also. Again, talking about the ability to probe, kapag umaataka siya sa pick and roll, Magaling siyang maglaro ng defender eh and hinihintay niya talaga yung best shot available. Ang averages niya sa Oklahoma State ay 20.1 points, 6.2 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.5 steal on 44% field goals and 40% sa 3 point line. Fit wise, it doesn't really matter eh kasi kapag top 3 pick ka sa draft, you should always draft the best available talent. At para sa akin, si Cade Cunningham yun. Para sa Houston Rockets, disappointing season yung last year. With the Harden situation, yung mga injuries nila John Wall and Christian Wood, and yung trade deadline moves nila last season, medyo hindi ko na-gets. Pero redeeming qualities naman is yung revelation nila Kevin Porter Jr., ni KJ Martin at Jay Sean Tate. Now, in my opinion, even though sinabi ko kanina na we draft the best talent available, sa situation na to, meron na silang KPJ na isang ball dominant two guard na nagpakita na ng flashes na kaya niya maging star player. And nag-50 points pa nga yun eh, with 11 assists and 9 three-pointers. So for me, even though the fit isn't ideal, I have the Rockets drafting Evan Mobley. 7 foot versatile big from USC. Pareho kasi silang raw talent ni Jalen Green and moving forward, mas nakikita ko na mas nasa long-term plan si KPJ instead of Wood, in my opinion. And kahit na magstay si Christian Wood, I think kaya naman nila mag coexist ni Mobley as pareho silang versatile and mobile. Masyado talaga kasing intriguing yung talent ni Mobley para magpas ka sa kanya. Averages niya sa USC ay 16.4 points, 8.7 rebounds, 2.4 assists, and 2.9 blocks per game. 7 foot big na merong 7 foot 4 wingspan. And ang biggest asset niya para sa akin is yung ability to create. Kaya niya mag-create from the dribble and vital yon sa modern NBA na versatility talaga ang emphasis ngayon. Para sa Cavaliers, there are reports na ready na ang Cubs mag-move on kay Colin Sexton. Throughout the years, hindi gaano kaganda reputation ni Sexton sa locker room ng Cubs. And as a young team with young players na mag-grow with each other, para sa akin dapat nasa same beat sila lahat eh. And with their lineup being uncertain, I draft the best available with Jalen Green, 6'5 wing from Ignite. If they trade Sexton, nice. If they don't naman, okay lang din naman. Though, malaking hit sa laro ni Green if ina-dominate pa rin ni Sexton yung bola if ever na magiging magkasabay sila. The thing about Jalen Green kasi is yung ceiling niya. Right now, kung ano siya as a player, okay lang naman, magaling. The athleticism and defensive game is there. Pero yung promise kasi and the flashes of him, basically yung superstar potential niya kasi mataas. 
sa draft kasi usually yung mga scouts and teams dinedetermine nila yung mga players by their potential and ceiling and for Jalen Green despite not going to college and being a young player yung quote and quote bug kasi niya offensively is what people like about him pero right now as it is yung lineup nila na Sexland plus Okoro and Green has the potential to light it up on both ends and even though hindi lahat yon sa tingin ko is magsha shine i think as a unit maganda yung potential as rebuilding team sila and kailangan nilang makahanap ng right players to move forward with sa Raptors papasok si Kyle Lowry sa free agency ngayong off season and we don't know yet kung ano ang mangyayari mukha kasing full rebuild na ang Raptors eh also the rumors of Pascal Siakam being traded mukhang magfo full rebuild na talaga sila and having guys like Gary Trent Chris Boucher and OG Anunoby na nagpakita last season na kaya nilang maglaro on a high level I think meron na silang foundation to start and I have them picking Jalen Suggs from Gonzaga basically para na tong Lowry replacement experiment and yung style kasi ng laro ni Suggs nakikita ko na kaya niya mag coexist with their current players Jalen Suggs average 14.4 points 5.3 rebounds and 4.5 assists per game and ayun sa tingin ko mag-fit sa sistema nila and makakagawa siya ng impact immediately kasi yung mga ganitong tipo ng player kumbaga sa NBA ngayon kailangan mo ng mga bucket getter eh and si Suggs bucket getter siya for the Orlando Magic last season nagsimula yung season nila with promise with Markel Fultz breaking out si Vucevic grabe yung jump na nagawa niya on his game and they're doing that without Jonathan Isaac sa lineup nila kaso after an unfortunate ACL injury from Markel their season went downhill and ang naging resulta nun is an end of an era para sa Magic Tinraid nila sila Vucevic, Fournier, and si Aaron Gordon for young pieces like RJ Hampton and Wendell Carter. Ngayon, their roster is filled with young players. Meron lang overload ng konti sa backcourt with Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz, and RJ Hampton. And sa frontcourt, I think the position they need to fill is the wing position kasi meron na silang Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter, and Mo Bamba. And with the fifth pick, I have the Magic selecting Jonathan Kuminga from Ignite. Scoring wing na may potential to be really good. Siya yung may pinakamaraming question mark sa lahat ng players so far and definitely risky tong move na to. Pero para sa Magic, having both the 5th and 8th pick, I think na okay lang mag-take ng risk sa 5th. Tapos sa 8th, pwede ka naman mag-pick ng safe. Si Kuminga kasi efficiency yung naging drawback niya sa Ignite Stink niya. Pero in my opinion, yung 13 games kasi na nilaro niya maliit na sample size yun eh and raw talent siya eh ano, ano bang expect natin sa isang raw talent syempre magi struggle siya to play sa isang organized basketball na mataas ang competition level and on a team like Orlando mabibigyan siya ng chance to show and play while having no pressure to develop quickly kasi ito palang yung simula ng rebuilding stage ng Orlando eh. so even though fifth pick ka and kailangan magpakita I think yung pressure is wala kasi nasa simula pa lang naman sila ng rebuild and feeling ko hindi nila mamadaliin si Kuminga na mag-develop knowing na raw talent talaga siya now this is the recap for picks 1 to 5 punta naman tayo sa 6 to 10 para sa 6th pick Scotty Barnes for OKC honestly this is the best available para sa OKC and for OKC kasi na ang layo ng binaba nila sa lottery I think taking a chance para sa isang high ceiling guy is the move. And para naman sa 7th, Davion Mitchell, a nice two-way guard from Baylor. Last season kasi isa sa mga problema ng Warriors ay yung depth nila sa backup guard position. And adding Davion Mitchell in the mix would add talent on the spot. Sa 8th naman, Orlando Magic with James Boonight. Yes, this might be a surprise pick pero sobrang under the radar kasi ni Boo Knight. Talented scoring combo guard na pwede siya maging steal of the draft. And for Orlando na alam natin na puro sila prospects pero walang scorer talaga na go-to guy. I think drafting James Boo Knight wouldn't be too bad of an idea. And para naman sa 9th, Sacramento with Keon Johnson. At this point... Keon Johnson is the best available para sa Sacramento and for sure, bagay siya sa youth movement ng Kings spearheaded by the Aaron Fox. Pang 10th pick, Franz Wagner para sa Pelicans. Spacing and defense. Franz Wagner is a good defender. My only question is kung kaya niya bang gawin yan sa NBA level. 
And ito yung the rest of the board and the full mock draft board. I think decente naman yung ginawa natin dito sa mock draft. And dito naman sa segment na to ay yung results ng community mock draft natin sa community tab. Cade as number 1, Jalen Green at 2, Kuminga at 3, Mobley at 4, and Suggs at 5. I think you guys did a good job also. And that's all for the mock draft. Again, ito yung buong board ng mock draft. Kung meron kayo sariling mock draft nyo, i-comment nyo lang sa comment section. And thank you sa mga nag engage sa, sa mga bumoto, sa mga sumali dun sa community tab. And also, thank you for watching. Thank you.